Hello everybody, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 9pm-ish on Monday the 10th of May 2021. I've just finished off reading Espadare Street by Ian Banks and so next up I'm going to read some James Herbert. Haven't decided which one yet, but I think I have it, it's called like The Fog I think, which just reminds me of Stephen King's The Mist, so I've got to read it. So I'm going to go do that. And I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow, so I'll show you that. Hello, I got a new tattoo today and uh, my camera is currently full. I have a spot on my face. I'm just going to quickly show it to you. It's Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. It's very cool. The uh, lightning bolts over there are actually white, but obviously they don't currently look white. But yes, very cool. Right, I'm going to go cling film that back up. Hello everybody. It is currently, what is it? It's the 13th, no 12th. May the 12th, Wednesday, May the 12th. I got my tattoo yesterday. Here it is. It is still healing, uh, particularly on this side. You can see like the lightning is actually white ink, but it looks very red at the moment. But yes, it is Vivi from Final Fantasy IX, one of my favorite games ever. Uh, so that's very cool. Um, what else is new? I'm very tired, pretty stressed to be honest. Been working a lot more overtime. The latest with um, trying to buy the house is now I need to put down a 17% deposit. So it's gone 5%, 10%, 15%. Now it's up to 17%. So now I need to put down 28,000 pounds plus two and a half thousand pounds of legal fees. It is a nightmare, but luckily I have a pretty supportive family who are lending me some money to help me over the finish line. So that's good. So I'm just uh, waiting to hear back from my mortgage guy on that. The lawyers are now actually actively asking me for like my mortgage details. And it's like, well, I've been messing around with it for two months and I still haven't got a deal, you know? So, um, it may, it may actually be that I get held back from moving out of here because of how much of a nightmare it's been to get the mortgage as opposed to like all the checks. So they've done um, the local authority water check today. I have a few other checks to do and then they just send their findings to me. I approve them, provide them with my mortgage details and then they prepare the final fa paperwork and we, and we uh, do the signing over. So I'm hoping by the end of the summer I'll have moved into this new place. That's the goal at the moment anyway. Next week I'm going to see my mum for Christmas um, because of Covid, uh, travel out of the county has been prohibited and whatnot and so next week I can finally go and see my mum for Christmas which will be very exciting because I have Christmas presents to open and it's my birthday soon, <laughs> in a month, so um, yeah there's that. Uh, I'm still reading The Fog by James Herbert, I'm pretty near the end now, about 50 odd pages from the end. Next up I'm probably going to read, um, what's it called again? Oh yeah, The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher, uh, which I, from what I understand is like true crime, essentially, and like historic true crime, so that's quite interesting. Uh, although every time I think about the title, I just think about The Witcher, you know, Geralt of Rivia. So yeah, that's where we're at. I've got some, some video reviews to do today. I have loads. Fuck me, I have more to do than I thought. So yeah, I have four video reviews to do. Um, and I'm gonna go and work on those now and then maybe do some editing later, we will see. Well, it's Thursday, I still don't have my Fitbit charger so I'm just looking at my calendar. Thursday the 13th, unlucky for some, but not for me I guess. Uh, I had an art centre meeting earlier that lasted about two and a half hours, we went through a lot of all kinds of stuff to be honest. We've recently received some more, another grant that I applied for for us, which is great, so we can uh, start spending the money from that, so we just had to catch up on that. We did a programming meeting to look at events that are coming up and we also had some updates on like the COVID situation and the requirements we have. Tattoo's still healing but it seems to be healing nicely. Looking alright in the viewfinder. Bit red still where the lightning is but hey ho, that's what you get. Uh, what else is new? I finished reading The Fog by James Herbert. That was a 4 out of 5 full review coming soon. I really love about Herbert the way he writes. Um, he writes in a way that makes it read as though you just chat to somebody in a pub and he's like just orally recounting you know these terrible goings on uh, which actually makes it feel really believable it, it, to me it felt like how the Amityville horror was trying to be and failed you know so yeah that's pretty cool and now I'm reading The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher The Murder at Roadhill House it's non-fiction by Kate Summerscale I'm whizzing through it actually a lot faster than I thought I was going to um, it's very reminiscent of In Cold Blood by Truman Capote it's like the, the uh, Victorian England equivalent and it kind of follows this uh, murder investigation basically uh, so that's very cool and there have been some references in that oh my god the cat is going mad to uh, Robert Peel who was from Tamworth the town I was from so that's very cool did a little bit of music earlier so there was that as well and now I'm just filming before I get back to work mostly been working on art center stuff today um, but it's okay because I've ticked some stuff off that's been hanging over my head for a while 
and I'm kind of getting to a point where it's manageable. So that's good, because uh, I don't have any other client work on at the moment, but when other clients want me to do stuff, it's usually a case of jump on it right away, you know? So there is all of that. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. I'm gonna, you know. Hello everybody, I finally have my Fitbit charge. It doesn't have the right time on it. <laughs> In fact, it doesn't have the right date on it, so I need to resync it. But I'm just looking up here at my calendar. It is Saturday, the 15th of May, 2021. Biggie's down here. He's down by the little door, aren't you, Biggie? Oh, he's a little kitty. Uh, I picked him up a minute ago, and it kind of annoyed him. So let's, let's. Here you go. Don't know what that's going to do to the green screen. What's that going to do to the green screen, Biggie? What's it going to do? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I love you, tripod. I love you, tripod. Yes, yes. Okay, so you now know why sometimes if you're watching me, if the shot suddenly jiggles, it's because Biggie's doing that. Uh, I'm wearing my Who the Fuck is Jordana Blake t-shirt. You guys probably remember Jordana. I don't know, we did, uh, she's one of my friends here and we did some music a while back. I'll link below to a set of music we did before COVID, uh, where literally we just, I think about three or four days before we went to this open mic, which is the open mic where we met, we decided we were gonna like learn some cover songs together. So we basically just pulled a whole set out of our asses, which was a lot of fun. Um, so hopefully we'll play with her again. She's got a gig here in Wickham as well on Saturday, June 22nd, uh, sorry, Saturday, May 22nd, which is next Saturday. So in terms of my plans, um, this weekend, basically as of Monday, COVID restrictions are lifted a little bit here in the UK. As of Monday, I can finally go and visit my mum for Christmas. She's got all the Christmas presents out. I think we're probably gonna watch Muppet Treasure, uh, Muppet Christmas Carol <laughs> and listen to Christmas music uh, because I haven't been able to visit her since, it's been like nine months now. This is actually the longest I've ever been without seeing my mum, which is obviously, you know, it's been hard on me, pretty um, emotionally draining because I'm very close to my mum, you know? Definitely a mama's boy. So yeah, I'm going now on the Monday. We're gonna come back here on the Thursday. She's staying here on Thursday night. Uh, Friday morning, we're gonna go uh, and I'm gonna show her the, the place that I'm buying, um, which is nice. And uh, we'll go and do like the charity shops and stuff. We've got a few plans, gonna see some family members. But yeah, so next Friday, uh, Friday the 20 what? Friday the 21st, we're gonna have an open mic at the art center in the old church, which is gonna be cool. I'm gonna be working the bar, but I'll hopefully get to play as well. Saturday we have music in the garden, um, and then Saturday evening Jordana's got her gig, so I'll probably go straight to her gig from that, which would be good. And then nothing on Sunday, thank goodness. Uh, basically because stuff starts to kick off, we have events most Fridays, Saturdays, and possibly starting Sundays just to have an informal cafe thing going as well. Uh, which is all very exciting, but it's a lot of work as well, especially for my colleague Fran. Like, I just have to, you know, promote stuff. She actually has to organize the bar and shit, although I'll be helping at the bar a lot. Um, I'm just coming to the end of The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher now, and then I'm probably gonna pick up a James Herbert novel, although I might read one of these Milligans just to tick them off, because they tend to be quite short reads as well. And I'm behind on my reading goal for this year by four books. Not that I care too much, my goal is actually a book a day as well, so it's kind of an unrealistic goal. <laughs> Um, but I'll read a lot when I'm in Tamworth as well. In fact, my tradition is normally that every time I go there, I take my longest unread Stephen King book, and I think I have Bizarre of Bad Dreams. I think that's the only owned but unread Stephen King book I've got, so I'll probably take that. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. And I'm, as I say, I'm just being productive now. Um, done me vlog, done my haul, so I've got a quick wrap up to do for the suspicions of Mr. Witcher. I've got my tabs to pull out of that as well, and then I've got a few bits to take photographs of for eBay. And then I'm gonna be editing. Uh, I have videos scheduled now for release every day until June. So um, yeah, there's like a two week gap now between when I finish editing a video and when it actually goes out, and a video a day alternate between a review one day and some other video the next, all very exciting. So uh, I'm just finishing off my edits on my review of um, In The Miso Soup by Ryo Murakami. And after that, I need to prepare not next Tuesday's radio show, because that one's done, but the Tuesday after with a poet called Nigel Cresswell. So yeah. Yo, oh, I'm quite red today. It is late, I think that's why. It's 10.40 uh, p.m. on, oh, my Fitbit's working now, so Sunday the 16th of May. Uh, sleep is a bit screwed, so I was up most of last night 
working on some video editing and also working on the Wickham Art Centre new website and um, just generally getting my house in order as well because I'm going to Tamworth tomorrow to go and see my mum for Christmas which is very exciting. Um, what's new today? I went for a little walk earlier and somebody had put a sign up outside like a homemade sign on a bed sheet outside the art centre saying fathers have rights and it's like well yeah and black lives matter but you can't just put signs up on our railings so I had to take that down feeling super sketchy because it's like a dodgy road as well and I was there with like a knife cutting this sign down being like I hope whoever put this sign up doesn't come along and like try and start shit but also if they do I'm holding a knife so I'll probably be alright <laughs> but yeah so I took that down so um I've kind of briefed the rest of the team there just to keep an eye, an eye out in case somebody puts another sign up or worse, spray paint something. But we're kind of hoping that, that, you know, it was only up there today. So that we're hoping like the fast reaction time will make them think, oh, there's no point doing this. And we were saying like, they're just approaching it wrong. It's like, put the sign up outside your own house, write a poem or a song about why fathers have rights, come and do it at our open mic night. You'll reach more people with your message, mate. And so, yeah, anyway, and we've got an open mic next Friday actually, which is going to be in the old church. And we've got a bit of a dream team going on. We've got a work experience girl who's hopefully going to, hopefully going to be hosting it, which would be nice to get some like young, fresh blood. Uh, Fran and I work in the bar. A couple of friends, uh, Amanda and uh, Julie, are going to be working the door. And uh, yeah, we have a full PA with uh, fucking monitors so that when you're performing, you can actually hear yourself perform as well, which is very exciting. And it's in a converted church, so. Uh, and I will hopefully be playing a few songs at that, although I will be working as well. Uh, reading wise, I'm currently reading Su The Survivor by um, James Herbert. I'm very near the end now, so should finish that this evening. I also finished in bed last night The Roving Mind by Isaac Asimov, which is like, I think it was about 42 of his essays. It was quite good, it got repetitive in places though, because he'd talk about overpopulation and there'd be like a section on overpopulation. And there'd be like six different essays that he'd written, all on the subject of overpopulation for different, you know, publications or whatever. And so he's basically saying the same stuff, just in a very slightly different way. So that's kind of why I read it as my bedtime book. My next bedtime book is going to be Palm Sunday by Kurt Vonnegut, which is sort of autobiographical, bringing together everything from bits of fiction that he wrote, to letters, speeches and all of this stuff. But because of that, it's a bit of a mess. Um, to me, it's reminding me of what happens when an author dies and like their editor just gets access to their archives and kind of blags a new book out of it, you know? It just doesn't feel very cohesive, but hey ho. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of vinyls as well, working my way through my unlistened to vinyls, so I don't have many of those left. Uh, so, although I might buy some while I'm away with, with my mum, we'll see. So the plan for this evening, as I say, it's now five, uh, quarter to 11, and uh, I will probably be up all night because I didn't get up till 8.30 p.m., whoops. Uh, I went to bed at like 11 this morning, so my bad. So I'm probably going to stay up all night and get the first train to Tamworth. Uh, my friend Dave is going to be checking in on Biggie while I'm away. I've done the hoovering, so I've just got to do a few more like tidy bits and a bit of packing and stuff, which again, hopefully I can do overnight to be ready to go in the morning. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books I've talked about. And uh, hit that like button and the subscribe for more and stuff. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.